What's going on guys? So the New York Jets just added a wide receiver uh, back, former first round pick back in 2016 at TCU, Josh Doxson. Everybody knows Doxson, uh, late round pick by the, uh, by the Redskins. Didn't really do too much with the Redskins and it kind of seemed like he got chance after chance after chance. A lot of people had this guy as a number one wide receiver coming out of college, but um, gotta be honest with you, I loved him, but I always thought he was going to be a number two. Uh, a guy who like more of a possession wide receiver a guy who wins at 50 50 balls um, kind of like an Eric Decker a little bit just a tough kind of wide receiver I never really viewed him as that like number one explosive threat on the outside uh, but the Redskins ended up selecting him didn't really pan out like I said spent last season with the Vikings and uh, only had one catch okay granted very talented room over there in Minnesota I'll give you that but you got to have more than one catch you know you, so we have to take the signing kind of with a grain of salt. I know there's some, a lot of optimistic people that are saying, oh, we just got a first round uh, talent wide receiver in the building. And the, yes, that is true, but it's all about him living up to, to his potential. And then the coaching staff finding ways to get him the football. So I'm looking at this Jets room and I got to be honest with you, this is not a good room. This is not a good room at all. I mean, we have Jameson Crowder, who I like. We have Braxton Berrios, who I like, but in my head, Robbie Anderson's gone. I mean, at this point, like, I, I just feel like he's going to be gone. Quincy Nunwa, I don't even think he's going to be back with the team. And Demarius Thomas is a free agent. And to be honest with you, I don't even want him back. So we need to upgrade this position. We need, we need to attack this position through the draft, through free agency uh, to, you know, and we are in luck because there are solid, solid wide receivers that you can get in rounds two and three and four uh, in this upcoming class. You know, guys like Mims and uh, Van Jefferson, all these different guys. Uh, not to mention the guys in the first round like Judy and Lamb and stuff like that. So we, there's a ton of different guys, Tyler Johnson, ton of, ton, there's a bunch of wide receivers that we can get. Uh, so I'm not really sweating it too much, but I gotta, I gotta say, gotta be honest, I like this, I like this acquisition. I'm not going to give it an A or a B or anything like that, but I'll, I'll give it a C plus. It, it's a low risk, high reward kind of move. Um, hopefully he comes in the building, adds depth, um, and maybe he could turn into a uh, dynamic player for us. Who knows? I mean, nobody really knows the sport of football. So I'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And uh, as always, thanks so much for watching and go Jets.